All right, let's continue with our lesson on the formulas. Uh, I talked about the speed and distance, and I talked about area. And there's some other area formula that maybe I'll talk about maybe in the future. Like, for example, the area of the trapezoid and all that. Okay, we'll talk about it later. But let's continue on with the volume and the total cost. And in fact, I think I'm going to also talk about a parameter, a perimeter, okay, as well. Okay, so let's focus on the volume for now. Let's look at the volume of, um, <clears throat> of a cube. Okay. okay, let me draw the picture of a cube. Right? So you can see this is a box, square box, and it should have the same length across, height wise, the length is the same, and side front is also the same. So in other words, if you multiply the length, the side, the front, and the top, you should be able to figure out what the volume of a cube is. Really the volume is of a cube is Multiply by the length, the width, and the height. Okay? So in this word, length times length, because they're all the same, correct? Oops, they're all the same. So therefore, it's length times length times length uh, on the side, on the front, and the height. Okay, that would be equivalent to length cubed. Right, so that would be the formula for the cube. For example, if this was um, 3 centimeter, on the side, and then three centimeter in front, and three centimeter high, right? Length times width times height is all the same, three centimeter. Then we have three cube. In other words, three times three times three, which is 27. So the unit would, of course, be centimeter cube. Okay, so when it's volume, it's always cube. When it's area, always square. When it's parameter, it is always in the unit, a single unit, like centimeter or meter. Right. Now, let's look at um, volume of a rectangular solid. Okay. So in other words, let's draw that. Okay. Now, where the length on the side, the front, and the height are different, totally different. So how would you figure out this one out? Well, the volume would be length. Oop, let's, let's, talk, let's say this is the length, this is the width, and this is the height. Okay. So it would be length times width times height, right? Previously, when we looked at the volume of the cube, it was all the same. That's why we have L cubed, right? In this case, it's all different, so we have to multiply by different side, okay? And so the, that is the formula for a uh, volume of a rectangular solid. For example, let's say if this was uh, has a unit of, say, the width was uh, 3 centimeter, and the length was uh, 4 centimeter, and let's say the height was five centimeter, right? So what is the volume of this rectangular uh, solid? Well, we say it's five is the length. We say, oops, sorry, the four is four, sorry. The, the length is four, the width is three, and the height is five, okay? So you can go 4 times 5 times 3, it's easier, right? So 4 times 5 is 20 times 3 is 60. So 60 centimeter cube. Or you can say 12 times 5 is 60, same thing. Okay, but, okay so the answer is 60 centimeter cube. Okay, let me just, I don't know if you can see that well. Cube, right. Let's try another volume. Let's say we want to find the volume of a cylinder, right? Of cylinder. 
Okay? Right. Now, if you think of a cylinder in this way, you probably will always remember the formula. Okay? First of all, let's look at the area of a circle in a cylinder, right? So the, the area of the, the uh, side, for example. We know the area of a circle is pi r squared. This rep r represents the radius. Okay? So the radius is the distance from the center of a circle all the way to the tip of the arc of that circle. And so this is a side view of a uh, cylinder. Now, that's R, A, sorry, A, okay, so this area, the side view. And call this H, the height from distant top to bottom, right? So in other words, the volume of the cylinder is equal to the area of this circle of the cylinder multiplied by the height. Okay? Now let's this area, remember what I said was area of circle, the, the side surface of the, um, the cylinder is pi r squared, right? This here. So let's put a bracket around times the height. So in other words, the formula of the cylinder is really pi r squared h. Very cool, isn't it? So let's say, for example, we, we figure out that the, I uh, want to figure out, let's say, the, uh, the um, volume of the cylinder. Let's say the radius is um, 2 centimeter and the height was 10 centimeter, right? I don't know if you can see that, okay? Um, so the volume would be, we said, was pi. Uh, uh, r squared times height. So now we know that it's pi, and r is, uh, we said it was 2 centimeter squared, based on this formula here, times the height, which is 10. Right? So 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 10 is 40. So it's 40 pi. And we know a pi is a, is a constant number. Uh, we, we say it's approximately 3.14, and using your calculator again, let's do that, the answer would be 40 times 3.14, that would give you uh, 125.6 centimeter cube, right? Yeah. Okay? So, that's the volume of a cylinder. Later on, like I said, uh, I will talk more about the volume of the trapez the sorry, not the trapezoid, the volume of the square pyramid and maybe the comb, but maybe in the next uh, advanced uh, formula lessons, okay? But for now, we'll just keep it simple and keep the volume to this uh, shape for now. I want to talk about the parameter or perimeter. Okay? Perimeter is really, you want to know, for example, let's, let's draw a, uh, the side of the rectangle here. Right? The perimeter really is to find out what the length of the outside of this uh, rectangular shape here. Okay? So, for example, let's say this rectang uh, rectangle has a length of 5 centimeter and a width of 4 centimeter, what is its perimeter or parameter? Well, the parameter, remember, is the measurement of the outside length of any shape. In this case, what is the length side of the shape? Well, remember, it's not just this length here. There's also the width here and another length here. So let's fill that up. Okay. Oops, sorry, that's a 4, isn't it? Because it's it's a width on this side, so it's 4 centimeter, and the length is of the same side, opposite end, of the same length, of 5. So parameter in this case, P, let it represent P, is adding up all the sides. So we have 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4. So let's do that. 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4, which is 
5 plus 4 is 9, plus another 5 plus 4 is 9, so that's 18. Now, remember the unit is in centimeter, because it's just one side, uh, one dimension, okay? So one unit. Um, okay, so let's look at another uh, shape, a circle. The circle, instead of saying the parameter of a circle, we call that the circumference. Circumference, okay? Circumference. Okay, we'll write down circumference, which is a, for a circle, okay? So circle, we want to find, oops, here, the, um, the side length of the whole entire circle, we call it circumference, okay? Not parameter, parameter usually we're talking about uh, like rectangular um, or uh, square, okay? Or outside uh, length. Okay, let's look at this one here. Well, I would advise you actually for the circumference of a circle is to memorize the following formula. There's two formulas you could remember. Think of the center here. The distance from one arc passing through the center to the other side of the arc, right, is diameter, okay, D for diameter. So the circumference is pi times d. All right. So in order to find the circumference or the uh, the length of around the circle, it's pi d. But sometimes, you know, in the question, you don't get d. You get r, just half of that, for example. Okay, half of a diameter, which is the radius. Let's say you're given only the radius. In this case, we can still figure it out because we know that two radius, right, another radius here, is equivalent to one per, uh, uh, diameter. So in other words, we'll put two r here. So you can also remember it as two, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, let's go pi times two r, or just say two r pi, okay? If you remember it this way, pi times diameter, or remember circumference is uh, 2r pi, 2 times radius times pi. Okay. Example, for, uh, let's say if you want to find the circumference of a uh, circle that has a radius of, say, uh, 3 centimeter. Okay, so in this case, they didn't give us the diameter, they gave us a radius. We would go three, 2 times 3 times pi, which is 6 pi, which is uh, 6 times approximately 3.14. And you can figure that yourself, okay? Probably around um, 18.6 something, or, or 7, 8, something like that, okay? 